Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial, we're going to be learning basic keyboard shortcuts for Blender. Now, I don't know really how I'm going to do this, but I'm just going to go through the ones I use frequently and I think you guys should know how to use. So of course, we start off with the extreme basics and that is deleting using the keyboard. So to do delete any object we'd like, we right click on the object so it goes orange and hit X on our keyboard and click delete. Also rotating and scaling is a very basic keyboard shortcut. We just hit S to scale and R to rotate. Now you can be very specific on how you want to rotate and scale by selecting different axes 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 on the keyboard so if I want to scale and rotate on the x-axis I'll go s x r x and this works with everything else another thing you might want to learn how to do is move your specific objects onto different layers you can hit M on the keyboard and you can move to layers if I go over to this layer it'll be there Another very basic set of keyboard shortcuts is in edit mode. So hit tab to enter edit mode and hit 1 to go into front view and 5 to go into orthographic mode. Also, and we'll be covering loop cut and sliding um, and extruding and entering wireframe mode. So to enter wireframe mode, you want to select the object and hit Z. To select the object like this, you're going to be using the A key and that will select this the whole object, every face, vertice and edge. To loop, cut and slide, we're going to hit Control R, even if you're on a Mac. It's not Command R, it's Control R. And we're going to click, drag, and you know the basic loop, cut and slides. The next thing we'll be covering is extruding. So to extrude we're going to for this example I'll be setting into the face select mode and I'm just going to be hitting this surface and this surface I'll just select one for this tutorial I'm going to hit scale and E to extrude scale E scale and we can create some pretty cool shapes with extruding and then you can if you want to um, sub, sub add a subsurface modifier you can do so so I can gonna, I'm gonna make a hole this time a smaller hole like so so that's the basics of extruding and I think I've covered all the the keyboard shortcuts I use most of the time apart from the camera shortcuts or the view shortcuts which are simply just down here it gives you all the shortcuts on how to use the camera um, the views and the camera also another thing you might want to do no especially if you're a beginner is if you accidentally left click and your 3D cursor goes everywhere you want to hit N on your keyboard and go down to here where it says 3D cursor and enter the default 000 also if you want to close the, um, the toolbox up here for like a bigger a larger workspace you want to hit T on your keyboard to close that so I think I've covered all the basics I wanted to cover um, let me just check my notes. No, that should be it. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I shall catch you in my next video.